Hello, hello, hello. Mic check, one, two, one, two. What's up, Cup God? Farm Fresh Hype, let's go, let's get it. Always first, Cup God. How are you doing, buddy? Uh, I'm good too, man. Good too. Not sure why the top view camera is not focusing. It's kind of like low resolution. But I guess if you're watching on a small screen, it doesn't feel like that. You're watching on your TV. Uh, you might, you might have to change the resolution settings uh, if if you're able to do that with the Twitch app. I don't know. Guess we have to deal with it. Like when I look at it in my streamer program, it looks like 1080. But when I switch to my Twitch channel, it kind of looks blurry. Well, let's just uh, start, shall we? So today we got some vegan food for you. No animals whatsoever. Also, gluten-free for the, those who are really fanatic. Uh, we're gonna make uh, some roasted ox heart cabbage with sesame oil and some other stuff. And we're gonna serve that with uh, mashed potatoes, but we're gonna season that with some lime and parsley. And we're gonna top all of that with some garden peas and peanut sauce, which is basically, for those who don't know it, we call it saute sauce. And it's kind of like a hot, warm, little bit spicy um, peanut butter sauce, sort of. We just call it, over here we call it saute sauce, even though it's peanut sauce. So what do we need? Of course, the cabbage. This is my favorite cabbage of all. What's up, Janusko? Hello, sir. It's like, I like to eat cabbage raw, mostly. For this dish, we're gonna roast it. I like cabbage because you don't need a lot of extra flavor for it, you know? You don't really have to season it. Most cabbage, that is. Mm. This one is by far my favorite, the Oxhart cabbage. In Dutch, we call it spitskool, which is like translates literally to pointy cabbage. Because, well, it's pointy. So, we need that. We got for the garnishing, we got some cashew nuts. Of course, we need the saute sauce, so I bought the pre made one, but I'll act add like extra flavors to it. This one is actually pretty good. Like most of the uh, saute sauces over here, you can buy, it's already completely done. You don't have to add anything. Just put it in a pan and warm it up. This one, it's more like a paste. So you gotta add water and other stuff to it as well. Um, of course, the limes. Got some beautiful limes, which are freaking expensive by the way. Uh, it kind of surprised me how expensive limes are nowadays. Of course, some potatoes, potato, potato. Um, if you're, I always recommend if you're gonna make mashed potatoes, uh, buy the one that's uh, like really firm. Don't buy the crumbly potatoes for mashed potatoes. Um, spring onions, that's also for the garnishing. 
also gonna mix that a little bit through the mashed potatoes um, I got some sesame seeds I already uh, roasted them yesterday also for the garnishing we got some fancy sesame oil over here which we're gonna use for the cabbage and I don't actually need the cream I don't know why I put that there because this is vegan no no cream allowed um, the garden peas got some lovely garden peas over here and some fresh parsley now before I get started I'm gonna pour myself a glass of wine and I got a Spanish wine a classic one it's not like really mm, doesn't really say if it's Sauvignon or Merlot or Shira it's, it's just says classic wine so I'm gonna let that breathe for a sec I put the oven I preheated the oven it's set to 200 degrees Celsius we're gonna roast the cabbage in there mm. first we need some wine got the wine hype from Spain going on what's up mercy hope everybody's having a good weekend hmm that's really light I love this this is good wine it was cheap too there you see doesn't necessarily have to be a expensive wine to taste good I've drank a lot of expensive wines which are absolutely garbage this one is really good okay so we're gonna start off by working on the cabbage let's put all of this stuff away the potatoes the limes potatoes I need that after so I'm gonna stick put them right here so I live together with my girlfriend so I'm gonna make this dish for two persons so one of the half goes back in the, fr in the fridge don't need that Cut them in half, cut them in half again. Take out the core and the outer leaves. I did, I, I never trust the outer leaves from the cabbage. I always remove that. Now, so you put it in a bowl. All right, Copcot, go do your thing. So I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil over it. What's up, Hunter? Happy weekend to you, sir, as well. A yeah, little bit of olive oil. Some pepper. Had you my bericht gelezen? Mm, nee. I did not, sir. Thank you, thank you. Where did you send it on? On the Xbox? I literally just fired up my Xbox like 10 minutes ago haven't been online all day so I got the fancy sesame oil over here which is sealed pretty well damn
I already got oily fingers. Oh, nice! Je hebt zitten Skyline zitten spelen. Ik zal zo eens even kijken als ik klaar ben. There you go, some sesame oil. Now, not gonna put this in the oven yet, because first we gotta do some other stuff. Put that away. Gonna, got a pan with water over here for the potatoes. Oh, nice. Dat is uh, alles in één, toch? Weed Hunter. Dan krijg je gewoon alles. Alle DLC en shit. Is het wel waard? Meestal koop ik bij games niet uh, DLC en Season Pass. Maar bij die raad ik het wel echt aan om alles uh, erbij te nemen. Omdat je zoveel meer kan dan. Zoveel meer gebouwen en opties. Zo. So. Potato time, potato, potato. So this is actually a pretty fast dish. This one. If you plan it well, you can make this within 30 minutes. Of course, we're gonna stretch it out a little bit here on the live cooking stream. We'll do some talking, some chilling. Talk about games, talk about food, talk about how everybody's weekend is. But if you want to make this yourself, well, I'm gonna take away the ingredients list. We got it. Everybody got it right now. Um, ingredients list to let you see you guys uh, see a little bit more of my working space here. Uh, alleen Campus en Sunrise niet, de rest wel. Oh, oké. Okay. Oh, die hebben ze er dan uitgelaten. Als je maar de uh, Industries DLC hebt en uh, mm, Natural Disasters, die twee moet je echt hebben. Dan kan je, daar kan je het meest mee. Of nee, uh, niet uh, Natural Disasters. Wat is het called? Die ene met al die uh, rood options en zo. God, hoe heet het nou? Die verkeers uh, DLC. Ik ben de naam kwijt. Metropolis? I don't know. Welcome back, Cop God. Parklife, ja. Parklife is vooral leuk als je van decoreren houdt. Als je dat je los wil gaan met de decoraties en zo. So whoever just joined, you want to know what we're cooking? Oh, I was just about to say how to see it, but Cop God he beat me to it. Appreciate that Cop God. Explanation mark menu. Let's go. Right, that's it for all the potatoes. So let's prepare some of the garden keys. Not gonna put it on the fire, but just get it ready for later. Nice. Ja, die, die, dat zelf maken van je eiland, dat zat dus bij die natural disasters. 
die Terra Tool, weet je wel, waarmee je het landschap kan aanpassen. Dat verandert het spel gewoon compleet als je die hebt. Als je die niet hebt, dan is het gewoon heel anders. Hundred percent vegan en gluten free, guys. Speaking of which, um, if you buy the saté saus, some have gluten in it, some don't. So if you really want to have gluten free food, check the label before buying it. This one doesn't have gluten in it. Cheers, guys. So, while we wait for this to boil, I'm gonna cut up some stuff for later. Some spring onions. quite enough so tonight I'm still thinking about whether I should play and stream Battlefield or PUBG what do you guys think I enjoy them equally I had kind of like a off week with Battlefield but after yesterday I did some wrecking, so I've, I feel it. I feel it again. So we got one vote for PUBG. We got one vote for Battlefield. I got some lovely, beautiful fresh parsley over here. Look at that, and not the curly ones, like the the leaves one with the leaves. Not not the curly one. That wasn't an option, Cupcut. <laughs> Battlefield 5 or PUBG? Or maybe some city skylines, Wheat Hunter. What do you say? What's up, Dubbing? Good afternoon. Appreciate you joining here. Mm. For a cheap wine, this is really good, guys. I really... It's not, it's like really smooth and subtle. When ik op de nieuwe battlefield. Uh, I'll translate that to chat. Wheat Hunter, he asked, when is the next battlefield coming out? Mm. My guess, it will be at the end of 2021. Or maybe, maybe, just maybe, because they got kind of got delayed with the whole corona stuff. Maybe... March 2022 but let's not hope that it will take that long but I do know that that they kind of got delayed because of the whole corona they couldn't work at the office and do stuff so like for most people so they kind of got a uh, got delayed there But I rather um, let them take their time to create it instead of pushing the build for the release date. So I'm gonna save this parsley and spring onions in a separate bowl. I'm gonna use that later. So I got some of the saute paste or peanut paste. It's not peanut butter, it's peanut paste. It's not pre-made peanut sauce either. 
you gotta add stuff like water and flavor. It's just the paste. Summer next year? No, I don't think it will be in summer. They hardly ever release games in the summer. Uh, so, okay, so after I proposed City Skylines, we got two votes for Skylines. Okay, okay. So we, we got two, two votes. So City Skylines is in front. You can also use the smooth peanut butter. Yeah. I don't know actually, let me see the label, what they did different than Peter Butter with this, because this is more like a paste. Mm. Damn, there's a lot of sugar in it. Mm. Like with almost everything. So yeah, that's why it's vegan guys, no milk products in this one. I don't know, it does seem like the same ingredients as peanut butter. Oh no, of course, there's no butter, there's no butter in this one, that's the difference. We need this to be vegan. I'm kind of doing this for uh, Feel the Burn, if you guys don't know her. She's an amazing streamer, but she, one day she came to me and she was like, yeah, I, I'm, I can't have gluten, I'm, I, I can't have like dairy products, not too much, do you have ideas? So every now and then I do like these vegan slash gluten free streams. Not that it's necessarily pre my preferred food, but yeah, just mix it around a little bit. Um, so here we are. So this one you gotta add some water to it. Now I'm also gonna take one of the limes. Put half of it in it. So the water start boiling, so I'm gonna add the, the potatoes. I'm gonna boil that. Go. Yeah, yeah, you're right with that dubbing. You're totally right. I had to check the label just to be sure, but I know I I, I grabbed the right one on that. Can't really say that it's vegan if if there's milk product in the peanut sauce, right? Mm. It's good. Lovely. <coughs> um, okay. Well, I'm waiting for these potatoes. I'm going to quickly set up my machine, which we're going to use later. I'm lazy. I don't want to mash the potatoes myself. I'll let my machine do it. So I got some lovely cashew nuts over here. Oh, whoops. One accidentally fell in my mouth. That's what she said. Chopped them up a little. And this is just purely for the garnishing, this one, guys. I'm already looking forward to this dish. You don't necessarily, it proves that you don't need meat or fish to have good food, guys. There you go. Maybe you could make bread and butter pudding. Mm. Sounds like a good idea, but the only problem here, Cup God, I know you're from the UK, so I know British people, they love their pudding. 
But it happened to be that me and my girlfriend absolutely hate putting in any form. And since we have to eat whatever I cook on cooking stream, that's a no-go. <laughs> Dubbing doesn't like putting either. You and me both, Dubbing. It's just the texture and the ingredients. Because mostly when... Uh, I, well, not every pudding, but a lot of them, they they use like gelatin. I don't know how it translates to, to English. We call it gelatina. I absolutely hate that product. It's just nasty. Does anybody here know how they make that? Does anybody can can anybody tell me how they make that? Let's see what what it translates to. Uh, let's see. Mm, yeah, gelatin. They make it's like a key component for pudding in most puddings that is does anybody know what 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 ingredient is in there what wh where they make gelatin of could maybe make a classic st english style pastry i already did that cup god um, i think it was episode 16 or 17 I made scones with clotted cream Animal fat, yes, well, yeah But also they pulverize the bones mostly from the pigs Along with the fat and that's how you how they make gelatin. You're basically eating animal bones pig bones Oh, pasty, not pastry. Oh, shit. Hou je ook niet van bolletjes, Vla? Jawel. What's up, Martin? Bolletjes, Vla? Tuurlijk. Zit daar gelatine in dan? Want dan stop ik met eten direct. I didn't do English pasty, no. Oh, that wist ik helemaal niet. Nou, kan ik die ook van mijn lijstje halen. So, I got the Oxhart cabbage over here. Which we seasoned with pepper salt, some regular olive oil and sesame oil. We're gonna put this in the oven, which is preheated at 200 degrees Celsius. I think that's about 380 Fahrenheit, something, if you're on the Fahrenheit uh, measurements. Um, it would have been just easy if, if like, everybody would just use the same. It's, it's like the whole imperial measurements. I talked about it before, it just doesn't make sense. How long is that? Well, it's uh, six foot... And 20 inch. What's six foot? How big is this foot? And then they say, yeah, but a foot is one specific number, one specific length. Why not just call it that length? Why you call it a foot? It's just, or they're like, oh, you need to add one cup, cup of water. Yeah, how big is this cup? Is it a small cup? Is it a big cup? It's just, I, I think it's just silly, my opinion. All right, put this in the oven for about yeah, 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. So the until it starts to get brown on the outside, 
Roast it in the oven. Now which, the thing that wasn't on the ingredients list, but I just think about it adding it, because I want a little bit of a kick in the sauce. I got some chili flakes over here. I'm gonna add that to the sauce. Just a little bit. To have like a little kick to it. Mm. I made peanut sauce myself two times in my life. And after that I never wanted to do it again. It takes so much time. You gotta peel all the peanuts. Take away this, this like they got this little jacket, right? You gotta remove that, but you gotta make it really clean. And then you gotta burn them and clean them again and mush them and clean it again. It's like so much work. And you need a shitload of peanuts too. So better just to buy pre-made stuff. And you can always add your own flavors to it like I'm doing now. We got the lime juice in it and some chili flakes. It's still really thin, but it's going to reduce because the water is going to vaporize eventually. Maak boerenkommet. Grappig dat je het zegt. Um, Martin in chat, guys, I'll translate. He is mentioning uh, like a typical Dutch food. Um, it's like basically some vegetables and, and, and potatoes mushed together. That's basic. That's, that's Dutch food. We just, it's not like you have like a plate and there's vegetables on one side and you got some meat on the other side and some potatoes. That, no, we just mash the living shit out of everything. That's Dutch cuisine for you. Um, but the particular one he's mentioning right now, that's maybe, I think, right, Martin? That's the most, most beloved one of all, I think. Um, it would be. It would be fun just to do it once, like make a typical Dutch dish. Because I bet a lot of people in the world, they don't know. I don't blame them because it's horrible if you think about it. I co always call Dutch food Olvarit food. Olvarit, that's like a brand for baby food. They got these little jars and they mash the living shit out of the vegetables. And then you got to warm it up and feed it to your baby. That's basically how Dutch food is. But boerenkool, that's really nice. Yeah, most popular. Yeah, I think boerenkool too. Like, what else do you got? You got hutspot. Mm. I don't know. You got a whole bunch of them. But boerenkool, that's like the... It means, uh, if you translate it literally, it's farmer's cabbage. Cup God, you're, you're going out. Have fun with the battlefield. Sorry, I, I didn't catch that message. Until now. Have fun, Cop God. I'll talk to you tonight, probably. I'm gonna check on these potatoes real quick. No, not done yet. So, guess, uh... Gonna have to grab another glass of wine here. It's really easy going this one. I gotta be careful with that shit, you know? Before you know it, you're all drunk. Um oh, my chatbot decided to to bail on us. Why you do this, Chuck? Why you do this, Chuck the cheeky? On it dubbing, thanks. Sometimes certain stuff are more important than sauce dubbing, and that's drinking wine. But I'm grateful that you noticed. So I'm going to put that away for a little bit. If it's uh, cooled down too much, I'll heat it up a little bit more after. 
I mean, you got a sharp eye dubbing. You're like, yo, you need to stir the sauce. It's ruined. Jamona. Pay attention already. <laughs> Dubbing is like this, this goddamn amateur. I gotta, gotta tell him everything. Shit. <laughs> You're a good cook. So where you should do cooking streams too, dubbing. I would definitely watch that shit. Definitely. What what's your specialty, dubbing? So I'm gonna remember the cashew nuts. Oh. I'm gonna quickly roast them in a pan. And I'm actually gonna use some sesame oil for that. That will be great. Curry is spicy, mainly Caribbean food. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice. So, <clears throat> lots of fish, I guess. Dishes with fish. You're not Caribbean, you just like it. Some sesame oil. Oh, that's om already... Once I put that in the pan, the sesame oil, it immediately starts smelling really great in my kitchen. I love sesame, man. It's one of one of the many favorite things I got. I added some regular olive oil as well. Because the sesame oil is not really made for baking. So you got to add a little bit of olive oil there. In go the cashew nuts. Just bake them until they start getting brownish. Uh, curry, goat, fish, dumplings, and coconut rice. God damn, that sounds good, dubbing. Oxtail chicken. All sorts. Also, t huh? what? Tall, tall chicken? What's a tall chicken? Hmm. My camera is starting to get a little bit hot. You see that, guys? Potatoes are nearly there. Just chicken. I don't know what oxtail means. Like, the thing with uh, my language and translating stuff to English, I think most people can speak most Dutch people can speak English pretty well because we got so many similar things and you uh, like the way we use stuff. But when it comes to uh, food stuff like ingredients in English, a lot of times it's like something completely different. Tail of an ox. Oh shit, never ate that. Uh, ik ga mijn pizza eten. You're gonna eat some pizza. Damn. You fancy with the pizza, Martin. <laughs> Wat culinair hoogstandje, Martijn. Eet smakelijk, jij ook, man. Dankjewel. Ik spreek je vanavond waarschijnlijk wel. Tenzij je wat leuks gaat doen, natuurlijk. It's really good and tasty. I never had that in my life. I don't know if they would even sell that over here, dubbing. Ja, jongen. Heb je zo'n diepvries ding of uh, zo'n verse? 
Of besteld. Dat kan natuurlijk ook nog. Rich people food. Pizza. Yeah. <laughs> Martin, he eats like pizza with caviar on it. Fancy shit. Oh, hold on, I got some whispers, I see. Whispers. Whispers. The whispers don't really stand out that much as they did on Mixer. Here on Twitch. There you go. Mmm. See how they're starting to get color, the cashew nuts? Mmm. Lovely. And the smell is absolutely amazing, if you ask me. Uh, I need like a bowl or something. There you go. Gonna take a quick look at the cabbage. No, it's far from done. That's quite enough for the for the nuts. So, anybody got some fancy plans for this weekend? Anybody going to a party or maybe visit the family? Any any plans, guys? Over here, nothing much except doing this cooking stream. Tomorrow, I'm chilling at Amazing Peter and Mrs. A. They stream on... We met on Mixer. They still do the uh, cooking streams on Sunday, but they, they do it on Sunday. So, that's that's on the program. But apart from that, nothing much. What about you guys? Let's check the potatoes again. Ooh, closer, closer. Uh, but uh, you go and uh, eat uh, smakelijk with the vegan food. Thank you, Martin. <laughs> Jij ook met je culinaire pizza, caviar pizza. <laughs> uh, you can get it shipped to NL or go Amsterdam and have a selection of ox tall dishes. Uh, I guess I have to. I don't like being in Amsterdam though. I think everybody, all the foreigners are all so hyped about Amsterdam, but really it's a shithole. I mean, you got lovely architecture great museums but it's just too crowded man it's just too crowded and what tourists that visit our country don't know is that all the stuff you can do in in Amsterdam you can do that in other cities too where there where there's less people and equally kind pe Dutch people that want to show you around and equally nice looking buildings and canals channels or canals 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 that's it like take a city like um, Utrecht or Leiden or uh, Delft you don't let's put it this way if you ever go on vacation to the Netherlands of course go to Amsterdam of course you gotta go to Amsterdam but also visit the other cities don't spend those two, three weeks or however long you're going to stay in our country. Don't be in Amsterdam non-stop. Visit the other places too, man. They're equally good. They're equally good. My favorite Dutch city 
Well, it's nothing compared to the classic things with the canals and stuff like that. But my favorite Dutch city is Rotterdam. Like the people there are more... How do you say it? They're just more kind and grateful that you are there. Than the other cities. From my experience, that is. All right, turn off <coughs> the potatoes. I'm not gonna drain them yet because I'm waiting for the cabbage over here. And if I'm gonna mash it up right now, the potatoes, it will be cooled down before everything else is finished. Mm. Now, uh, like I said, I'm just kind of lazy. I just take out my machine to do the work for me. Does make cooking a lot easier. Um, so I got the garden peas. Don't boil garden peas. Just warm them up gently. Um, I got my fancy machine over here. So I'm going to add some of the parsley and spring onions. Juice of the other limes. So we used one half of a lime for the peanut sauce. And now the other three halves of the lime, I'm going to add that to the mashed potatoes. Like this lime doesn't have seeds in it. That kind of worries me. Like what what genetically produced lime is this? If it doesn't have seeds. I guess we gotta do we'll deal with it. Some pepper. Some salt. We will add the potatoes in a bit. I'm going to check the cabbage again. Nope, still not finished. So, we gotta wait a little bit here. Don't don't rush it. Maybe I said like in the beginning, put the oven on 200 Celsius, but maybe put it a little bit higher. Because in my opinion, it takes a little bit too long just to roast some cabbage. Damn, my dishwasher is already full. Crazy. Mm. So now we uh, we play the waiting game a little bit. So if anybody has an idea what to do next, somebody already said English pasty. I was cup god. We had Martin recommending to do like a Dutch, Dutch dish. But any anybody else got some ideas for me here. This is, uh, let's see, the 27th episode. I actually did a couple of more than 27. I think around 30 now. But not all the episode made it to the social media and the YouTube. Uh... For example, I made uh, baklava, Turkish baklava once, but that kind of went sideways, so I removed that. And 
also what was it all right i know the i made the, these madalenas with blueberries but i forgot to upload that so eventually it disappeared from the previous stream tab so i it was gone uh, but officially we're kind of like i think this actually has has to be like episode 30 but um because of that we're at 27 right now but we're getting close we need we need uh three more episodes to reach 30 and then oh well, i was thinking about like do a rerun like let people vote which of these 30 episodes was their favorite and then we'll do that dish again the very first live cooking stream I did was cheesecake and I think that that was also the most popular one by now all right I'm gonna clean up a little bit I'm here in chat guys so talk to me if you want to ask something or you got ideas I'm here for you we're gonna wait Cooking is also patience. Oh yeah, if you want to hear me rage, there's a, I just posted in a, a video clip on my Instagram <laughs> where I yell at, uh, <laughs> I, I yell at uh, other players in Battlefield that were not attacking the flags, the objectives. Who's still with me guys? It's all quiet all of a sudden. Everybody was so chatty and all of a sudden. Everybody run quiet. I don't really mind. I got my wine. That's 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 enough for me. Wheat Hunter. Oh, you know what I can do in the meantime, Wheat Hunter, while we wait, I'm gonna check your the thing you sent me. Let me check. Let's see that city. Appreciate you, Wheat Hunter. I do like all the colors in the screen right now, all the food. Look at all those lovely colors. Let's see. Wheat Hunter sends you a message. Amusement park in under construction. Ooh. Holy shit. Hoe lang heb je gedaan om dat eiland te maken, joh? Daar ben je wel lang mee bezig geweest, geloof ik. Nice. Kijk hem gaan dan. Are you playing City Skylines or a rollercoaster tycoon? Shit. Let's go. Dat is echt zo'n spel, hè? Dan kijk je op de klok en dan is het bijvoorbeeld twee uur middags. En dan doe je even een paar dingen en dan kijk je weer op de klok en dan, en dan is het opeens vijf uur middags. <laughs> Zo'n soort spel is het. Echt, gewoon je tijdbesef bij games is sowieso al anders. Maar bij dat spel is het wel echt... Extreem gewoon. Het ziet er goed uit. Ja. Je moet me ook maar eventjes uh, een screenshot sturen als het helemaal af is, die theme park. Heb je ook een naam gegeven of niet? Anders heb ik nog wel een leuke naam voor je. Voor je theme park. 
Je moet je Team Park de Chicken Farm noemen. <laughs> Trouwens, een tip voor jou, uh, Wee Thunder. Stream dat spel. Er zijn echt superveel mensen geïnteresseerd om daarna te kijken. Omdat ze willen weten hoe anderen iets doen. Maar te, uh, het is echt een spel wat je moet leren, weet je wel. Dus wat mensen vaak doen is dan naar streams gaan kijken om te kijken of ze er wat van kunnen opsteken. Voor mij is het altijd... Uh, ik denk van alle spelletjes die ik stream, heb ik bij City Skylines altijd de meeste views. Mm -hmm. Good wine. I gotta take it easy with the wine. I'm gonna check, take a look at the cabbage again. Oké, okay, die begint nu mooi bruin te worden. Almost there, guys. We're waiting on the cabbage, which is in the oven being roasted. Ik kan het wel de chicken farm noemen. Ik zou vereerd zijn. Joey. Joey, toch? God. Volgens mij wel. Hmm. Wat kan ik... doen in de meantime hier? Ik weet niet. No, no, no. If this wasn't the vegan dish, I would also add cheese to it. But we're gonna leave that out right now. Uh, date 5 minutes over eiland te maken. Hmm. Ik ben altijd heel lang bezig met dat uh, met die Terra tool. Hmm. Add a little bit water. It's a little bit too thick. S satay sauce. Peanut sauce. A little bit of water. Ik ben vanavond weer bezig. Hoop dan de bomen en zet geklaard te hebben. Oh ja. Ik heb heel lang. Ging boom voor boom ging ik planten. Totdat iemand me vertelde. Ja je kan ook een hele shitload tegelijk doen. Door. Uh, je kan met pijltje naar links en naar rechts. Kan je de grootte veranderen. Van het gebied waar je bomen plant. Dus of je de één tegelijk. Of meerdere tegelijk. En dan ook de sterkte ervan. Hoeveel bomen die tegelijk neerzet als je op A drukt. Ik weet niet of je dat al wist. Daar kwam ik pas na een jaar achter of zo. Dus soms was ik gewoon, ging ik zo'n natuurpark maken. En dan ging ik één voor één al die bomen neerzetten. En daar was ik dan vet lang mee bezig, weet je wel. Dik spammen op die A-knop. Totdat iemand mij dat dus vertelde. En toen dacht ik, oh shit. <laughs> Uh, is een handig toeltje voor kun je een soort van vastzetten qua hoogte en dan uitbreiden. Ja, ja, ja. Daar kwam je vanmiddag achter. Kwam je zelf achter. Bij mij moest echt iemand het me vertellen. Ik was aan het streamen en ik was bezig met die bomen en ik zat erover te klagen. Dat het pijn deed van al dat A-button smashen. En toen zei iemand in mijn streamchat van... Um, Hallo, je kan ze ook meerdere tegelijk neerzetten hoor. Wat doe je moeilijk? <laughs> Maar jij kwam er gewoon zelf achter, shit. Oh. Oké, okay. nog één keer naar de kool kijken. Let's take a look at the cabbage. Mm, lovely, lovely, lovely. Smells good, smells good. So, cabbage is like good as finished. Gonna heat up the peanut sauce a little bit again. Because it's kind of cooled down over here.
We're getting strong with the wine, guys. We get the wine hype. Veel te lekker. Veel te lekker. Dat is niet goed voor me. Oh, dit wordt zo lekker, jongens. It's gonna be so good. Sorry about that, my controller disconnected somehow. I'm back, I'm back. All right, add a little bit of the the water. Just a little bit. Now, normally when I make mashed potatoes, I would use cream. But remember, we're doing the vegan styled dish today, so just gonna add the water. Um, this is gonna make a lot of noise, obviously. Kitchen machine, here we go. A little bit more of the water. Twee andere eilanden komt toerisme en voetbalstadion. Ik moet nog één eiland erbij voor mijn airport en blijf. Ik raad je wel aan voordat je dat toeristen district gaat maken, om ervoor te zorgen dat je goed openbaar vervoer hebt en genoeg. Want als je dat niet hebt en je gaat heel veel toerisme bouwen, dan komen al die toeristen komen met de auto en dan voordat je het weet staat het overal vast op je wegen met files. En een vliegveld is een goede, een airport is een goede. Dat neemt al heel veel weg. Dus misschien al eigenlijk al voldoende. Alleen dan moet je wel weer zorgen dat dat vliegveld goed verbonden is met je toeristendistrict. Dus een metrootje erheen of bussen. Nou ja, bussen dat levert dan ook weer veel verkeer op. Dus uh, metro. Metro of monorail is eigenlijk het beste. Want die gaan niet over de weg, weet je wel. Dus je wilt zo min mogelijk, uh, min mogelijk verkeer hebben, zeg maar. Toerisme levert echt heel veel verkeer op, namelijk als je geen goed openbaar vervoer hebt. En dan word je helemaal gek, jongen. Dan denk je, we komen al die auto's vandaan. Nou, daar dus van. Oeh. Hmm, I don't know if it's the cooking or the wine that's making me feel hot over here. Mmm, the cabbage looks good. So, we're gonna start decorating the plate. First, I'm gonna call my girlfriend. We're gonna make the first plate for her. Mop.
right? I had to call my girlfriends like, yo, dinner is served, honey. Hm? Ja. Ik reageer niet, dus ik denk als ik de lamp doe, dan reageer je wel, maar... Ook niet. All right. Garden peas. <laughs> Iedereen heeft het nog steeds daarover. Over dat ik dat zat te zingen op stream. Shit. <laughs> Fractures begon de laatst ook weer over. Vanmiddag was dat zelfs. Uh, wanneer ga je weer halleluja zingen? <laughs> en het grappige is... Ik weet er zelf gewoon helemaal niks meer van. Look how beautiful, guys. Look how beautiful this mashed potato is with the parsley and the lime and the spring onions. Mashed potatoes. Take out the cabbage. Oeh, that's hot. That's hot, hot, that's hot, 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 hot. Some garden peas. Like a bijna dopper to deze. Some of the cashew nuts. Some of the fresh parsley and spring onions. There you go. Some roasted sesame seeds. And of course. The yummy peanut sauce. And there you have it. Let's get a close up here. Wait, no. I'm gonna make another plate and then we'll do the close up. First, I'm gonna give this to my girlfriend. She needs food. She needs, she's not feeling well today, so this food will make her feel good. Laka, laka, laka. All right, so we're gonna do the plate for me, and I'm gonna eat that in front of y'all faces. We call it the money shot over here. Thank you, Dubbing. No animals whatsoever on this one. All veggie and vegan. We didn't use milk products. We didn't use eggs. Nothing. It's all nature over here. The mashed potatoes. Cabbage, roasted cabbage with sesame oil. Some lovely, lovely garden peas. We got the roasted cashew nuts. And some roasted sesame seeds. Some spring onions and fresh parsley. There you go. 
and once again the peanut sauce with lime juice and some chili flakes to give it that little kick you know I'm gonna add a little bit more to that I love that you know Lovely, lovely, lovely. All right, I'm gonna move the camera now, guys. So if you suffer from motion sickness, please look away. I'm gonna get this close up in. There you have it. Roasted cabbage, ox heart cabbage to be precise with sesame oil and we got the mashed potatoes with lime juice and parsley and spring onions and we top that with the peanut sauce and the roasted cashew nuts and some lovely garden peas and some roasted sesame seeds and now it's time for the money shot Thank you guys. I hope it tastes equally good. So I'm gonna set up this camera like this. Gotta get ready for the money shot. Now we can take away this face cam and the background for it. There you go. Yum, 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 yum. Bon appetit, guys. All vegan. All freaking vegan. Perfect. You guys see me right? Yeah, it's perfect. Nice. All right. Oh, didn't remove the blue box. Hold on. Come on, blue little box, go away. Yes, there you go. All right, let's taste this shit. Let's go. We got this, guys. We got this. First up, the cabbage. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Like the sesame oil is lovely, and because we roasted it, it's kind of crunchy. The cabbage, love it. And it's all nature. No animals, no human stuff in there. Just nature. Mm. Mm -mm. Now If you do want to add meat to it, I would say turkey or chicken. Maybe roast that as well with some uh, honey and thyme or something. I think that will go along pretty well. If you really can't do without meat. don't think fish would go well with this. Mm. What's up, rabbit? Good morning. Just in time for the money shot, sir. Gammon with honey glaze. That's all. Yeah, dubbing knows what he's talking about. This whole entire stream. Let's go. 
No animals used or products of animals over here, rabbit. It's all vegan over here. You just got home. You were uh, at the shop preparing for uh, next week. Let's try this mashed potatoes. Mm. Oh, that's really good. I think I like that better than the cabbage, actually. Mm. Mm. Oh, shit. Hey, the tomato for the apple puree is echt lekker, hè? Wow. My girlfriend thinks it's also really nice. Mm. <laughs> You're welcome, rabbit. I like to switch up the, the type of food I create here. Like do desserts, make like pies, do stuff with, with meat, but also every now and then for you rabbit, do some vegetarian food or for feel the burn. I don't know if you know feel the burn rabbit, but she's like a vegan. So every now and then I'll, I'll do a vegan stream too. Not necessarily my first choice of food vegan food but when I eat this I'm like you don't need meat man to eat nice you can have great food without meat as well mm. nice rabbit nice although rabbit when I think about all the not the meat but products that come off animals like eggs or milk products especially the eggs I can't do without eggs I use it a lot not just to bake some egg in the morning you know but also in the evening when I'm preparing food it's just like I use it a lot I can't do without eggs I also like diary products but I, I, I can imagine myself doing without that. But eggs? No, I can't do without eggs. So. But it's really noble of you if you if you manage to. It's not going to be easy indeed. Mm. Just a combination with the sesame oil and the cabbage. It's lovely. The peanut sauce. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's true, dubbing. But nowadays you got so many replacement products for that. But I don't trust that shit, you know? It's all, all made in, in laboratories and stuff. Don't trust that shit. Hmm. I should have put the whole cabbage in there, man. Because when I finished it, I still feel like I could have some more. For everybody who just tuned in, we made and already eating it right now. This is... Oh, I accidentally enabled my audio. If you guys want to know what we did today on the cooking stream, here's the menu. That's what... What I'm stuffing my face with right now. There you go. And I'm kind of falling behind on my Discord. I only use my Discord to place the recipes, so everybody who's interested in whatever I made on the cooking streams to download the recipe and try it themselves. But I've been kind of lacking on that lately. So I still have to do like all the recipes from the last, I don't know, eight episodes or so. So I'll work on that probably tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. So, um, of course, I recommend everything I make here. But I think this one is highly recommended. Especially when you're you're eating meat. I Try this. And then when you start eating this, you're like, all right, you can have nice meal without meat. It's lovely. Mm. Mm. The 
Cabbage is so good. And the mashed potatoes. All we did with the mashed potatoes, it's so easy. Like most people, they just boil the potatoes and then they mash it and that's it. Maybe some pepper, maybe some salt. All I did was add spring onions, parsley and some lime juice to it, to the potatoes. That's it. Of course, a little bit of pepper or salt, but that's it. And your mashed potatoes become like 20 times more delicious. Mm. The mashed potatoes, I think that's my favorite from all this dish, from this entire dish, the mashed potatoes. Mm. Yeah, by far. Not that the cabbage isn't good, it's also really good, but the mashed potatoes, oh my god. Mm. I did mashed potatoes another cooking stream like a while ago and that was still on mixer when we were still on mixer but I made uh, the mashed potatoes with um, it was sweet potatoes to start with and I added like ginger syrup that was also really good but I like this version better smoked salmon that will go I think that will go along pretty well with this dish dubbing. I think that 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 goes along pretty well. I can I'm trying to imagine it, you know, the taste of cuz the smoked salmon it goes along with stuff like lime or lemon flavors, you know. So I can imagine this the smoked salmon will work in this dish. Maybe like make a bath of smoked salmon on your plate and then like a carpaccio you know put that on the plate and then top it with everything else the cabbage and the mashed potatoes and all oh my girlfriend already finished her plate will you nog een beetje beetje uh, okay. damn she ate that fast She was like, and I'm done. <laughs> hmm. I'll send you this recipe, Rabbit. You have to try this out, man. You're going to love this. Also, I'm drinking some uh, Spanish wine. Oh, I'm trying to. Doesn't go along. It goes along pretty all right, but I reckon you would have to drink white wine along with this. I think that's better. But this works. Mm. True, true. You're writing it. Damn, you know a lot, dubbing. You know a lot. I'm impressed, sir. What's up, Smil? Did you read my message, Smil? Mm. Also, next time add nuts to the mashed potatoes for extra flavor. You could do that, or you can leave it out and then just garnish it with the nuts. So you can also see the ingredients. You know, you see, the, works both ways. I'm 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 like eating it to get together right now. You know, like the, the potatoes with the nuts. Hmm. Doing good, yes, thanks for that. I think it worked, yeah. Because if you don't put it on level one, your auto bot or auto mod, I don't know what it's called. Auto mod, auto mod. It's, it's, uh, it's not working right. 
dude, I got so smell. I got so many people when I play the games or when I do the stream in my chat talk Dutch to me in chat. So they're they're typing Dutch sentences in in, in my chat, and every now and then it still picks up. Even though they're they're not saying anything inappropriate, but the chatbot is like, nope, this is inappropriate. Even though they're just saying something completely normal, but the 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 mod, the auto mod just recognizes the the Dutch word for inappropriate. They need to fix that shit asap. I mean, Twitch is so big; it's an international platform. It's being used throughout so many different countries but they don't they don't actually did something about that it happened to me last night now i think about it not sure what the person in chat was telling me but i do know it was completely normal we were just talking no cursing no swearing no bad words or inappropriate language it was just regular normal dutch and the chatbot was like hmm. I'm gonna flag this shit. You're inappropriate right now, sir. I had to approve it first. That shit happens a lot. I'm like, shit. You can't turn it completely off, which is also stupid. Because I'm like, Hold on, gotta empty my mouth. That's what she said. Um, <coughs> I'm 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 like the type of streamer. Of course, I if you jump in my chat, you will read some rules. But it's like normal people stuff, you know. Don't come here with racism or discrimination. It's like the, the basic stuff, you know. But apart from that, I'm like, if somebody trolls around in chat or behaves like a dick or whatever, you you or one of your mods just bans him or timeouts him, you know? I don't really want to like, oh, uh, make a list of forbidden words, which you get automatically banned or timed out if you type one of those words in the chat. We'll just fix it on the spot when it happens, you know. In that case, you won't you won't end up with accidental timeouts or bans, you know. Sometimes, like a, a tip for you, Smail, because I, I, you know, I was in your stream today. Um, I opened your chat box, and your message with the chat rules that was like. I got books laying around which are not that long as your 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 chat rules. <laughs> I would recommend to make it make make a short version of it. But that's just my 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 honest advice. You know, do what do with it whatever you want. It's not criticism. I'm not bashing your your thing. It's just an advice. You know, make it short. Like, don't do this. Don't do that. Have fun. Enjoy. I'm Smil, I'm awesome, you know, you are awesome, I mean, right? Uh, you made me hungry, warming up some rice and chicken. Nice, 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 nice. Just rice and chicken, no, no veggies, Smil, no vegetables. Because to come back at your, your thing, it's because of the length. People are just lazy. They're not. They're they just gonna click OK right away. You know, they're not gonna read it because it's quite a long story you got there. They're not gonna read it. Trust me, nobody is going to read that. That's just how people are. Mm. I did read it, though. But that's because you know I know you. By now, I consider you uh, like a gaming friends or regular friends so I just hop in your stream and see like hmm, what's he doing you know can what's what's going right what's going wrong just want to help out you know twitch doesn't have emoticons hmm. they don't have their own now 
You're right. It's either emotes from affiliates or like third-party software who who got the emotes. They don't like Mixer. They they had their own emotes, which were pretty awesome, if you ask me. That's one of the th few things I miss from Mixer. Few. <laughs> I would like to point out the word few, because. I'm kind of happy it all happens, the mixer thing. Because here on Twitch, like all the tools you get and stuff you can do, it's so much better. Of course, they exist longer, they got a larger community, so it's it makes sense. But I don't, I don't, I used to, in the beginning, the first month, I really missed mixer when I had to jump over to Twitch. But right now, I don't miss it at all. Simple rules are easiest. No bullying, no racism, no graphic exit words. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of... I don't, I don't actually know what I put down. Like, no discrimination, no racism, or something. Yeah. That's also one of the things which was good about Mixer, Wheat Hunter. It was integrated into your... Xbox system. That's true. Like here with Twitch, you have to launch game, shut down. The, well, not shut down the game, just like go open your Twitch app so you would be briefly out of your game. And launch the stream. You got to wait for a couple seconds before it actually notifies you like okay you're live now it takes sometimes it takes like 30 seconds after i press the button go live to go live and then you gotta go back to your your game and then you you'll see or the viewers will see the game but in that moment they will see the timeout screen I'm so happy I picked this dish to do on the cooking stream. Damn, it's so good. Mm. Nearly finished over here. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. Save the best for last. Hmm. You're moving to another house in two weeks. Nice. Same same city, or you're moving to another city as well. Let's go. You got a lot of work ahead of you. I always find moving from one place to the other very stressful. I will always eat the best last smell. Hmm. Do I have some nuts left? Yes. A couple. You gotta eat the potatoes with the nuts, man. Hmm. Lovely. Same city, big house with three bedrooms and no neighbors. Damn. That must cost a fortune. You know how the house market is in our country right now. It's crazy. Uh, if you can afford it. Three bedrooms. So you're going to use one for sleeping in. 
one for your game room. What to do with the third one? Make like an SM chamber. <laughs> Fetish chamber. Got the, the, the leather suits on the wall and the, you know that one chair. The swinging chair. The sex chair. <laughs> <laughs> Third room wheat farm. That's also an idea. You can only have five plants legally. Smell. So you can't fill a whole room with three with three plants. I guess a gym. That's also an idea. Or like what? I don't know if you have many clothes. Clothes wheat hunter. Make like a walk-in closet. The entire room, just one closet for your clothes <laughs> one room is for the cats <laughs> they got our own own room damn these cats of yours are living a luxury life they get their own room two bathrooms Damn. Hey, is it the castle or something? Shit. He only said it because weed is illegal in the United Kingdom. I'm telling you, man. All these countries that like don't make it legal. If you make it legal, you're Concerning that specific thing, the, 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 the weed, if you legalize it, you're, for that specific number, your criminality, uh, criminal thing will go down. Also, it makes it less interesting if it's legal. And the government can more regulate the usage of it. It has so many benefits if you just legalize it. I wouldn't recommend governments doing that with more hard drugs like cocaine or stuff like that. That's just irresponsible shit. But it works for, for the Mary J. We're the living proof, man, the Netherlands. We're the living proof. Of course, it's... it's in a way, it's... Uh, Depends on the person who's using it. Some can stand it really well. Others, they just go bottom rock straight away. Hmm. I finished my plate, guys. <coughs> you get it shipped from Canada. Don't you have to pay a lot of money for that? I bet the shipping costs more than the actual product. Too bad... Uh Can you guys hear me? I think my mic disconnected again. Not sure. Uh, that's needs to get legalized. A lot of chemical dumps all over the Netherlands. Mm. You want to legalize chemical dumps? I don't know about that. Smell. I don't know if that's such a good plan. Smell for president. Oh no, wait, we don't have president. Smell for minister. Prime minister, smell. <laughs> ah, I never thought I would say this, guys. But I very, very much enjoyed this vegan dish. It proves, I said it a couple of times during this stream. I'm going to say it again. It proves if you want to eat good and healthy well leave out the healthy thing this is healthy but if you want to eat nice you want to have some good food it doesn't necessarily have to mean you have to add fish or meat 
or any other type of animal products. You can eat equally nice or maybe even better without animals in it. I Don't get me wrong, I'm not a vegetarian, I'm not a vegan, but yeah, it's it, it was absolutely great, man. Especially the mashed potatoes. I would recommend everybody who does it every now and then eat and make mashed potatoes. Just add some lime juice and some fresh parsley and some spring onions. Mix that together and your mashed potatoes will be so much better. It's just like a little, little, little change to it, you know. Don't be boring. Don't just mash the potatoes and that's it. Add those little things, those little extra flavors and you're... You never want something else again. I'm definitely gonna make this dish again sometime. Not on the stream, but just like outside the stream. It's like, hey honey, what you wanna eat tonight? Oh, let's do that cabbage again. With the mashed potatoes. Right, I'm uh, like I said uh, during the stream, I'm gonna work on those recipes for my Discord. For everybody who's like, oh, I wanna try it myself. I've been kind of letting down on the recipes on Discord. Um, if you're not on it and you want to be, uh, let's see, if you want to, you don't have to, but if you want to, oh, hold on, my chatbot, give me a sec here, I got the chatbot is running on my other laptop, but when it's in inactive, it kind of shuts down, hold on, Discord, no, does it work? Still doesn't work. Shit. What's this? Why you do this? Um, hello, chatbots. Ah, there you go. That works. Well, you got it twice. So, that's where you find the recipes. And if you want to be extra, extra careful, and you want to know for sure, you can also grab like the stream that goes along with it you can find that on we're doing some shameless self-promotion here guys on youtube that's where you find all the previous cooking streams you can watch that and download the recipe that belongs to that stream and like cook it yourself simultaneously um i'm gonna clean up this stuff look it's like a mess over here I just put everything aside. So I'm gonna clean up. Um, yeah, and then tonight, I don't know, we had a couple of votes for City Skylines, we had a couple of votes for Battlefield, we had a couple of votes for PUBG. We'll see. I, I don't know yet. Depends on who's playing, who's online, who, who wants to join and stuff. Probably around, uh, I think, 10 ish. 10 p.m. So that's, uh, let's see. That's uh, three hours and 10 minutes from now. I'll be back. Maybe a little bit earlier. I want to say, say thank you to all of you who stick with me this stream. Dubbing, Smell, Wheat Hunter. Uh, we had a rabbit dropping by just a, little, just a bit ago. Um, who else? Did, who did I miss? Did I miss anybody? I don't know. Oh yeah, Cop God, of course. He's playing Battlefield right now. Thank you, guys. Uh, let's cut to the ending screen. Ending screen hype. Uh, is there anybody who we can raid? All the chickens. The chickens. Thank you, guys. Take care yourselves as well. Oh, I know. Um... Right before I started streaming, I was hanging out at Julia. She's playing a game I can't play myself. Wheat Hunter, this might be interesting for you. She's playing, a, it's a PC only game. So that's kind of the downside to it for us, uh, Wheat Hunter. But it's called, uh, let's see, Planet Zoo. It's kind of like a newish game. It's quite new. And she's playing that. Go check it out. You might like it. I think you'll like it. Alright guys. 
take care. I'll, I'll see you tonight. If not, uh, see you next time. Take care. Later.